Mitochondria and the Future of Medicine by Lee No. In the story of evolution, we often talk about the first fish that stepped onto land and began all of land creatures as an iconic moment in history. But we often overlook the even more fundamental step that happened two billion years ago when one bacterium went inside another and wasn't ingested. And so began the story of mitochondria and aerobic respir uh, respiration and the foundation for what cells uh, would end up being. The book has a great opener about comparing mitochondria to the metachlorians in the Star Wars universe. Our mitochondria are like the metachlorians that give our body force and meaning. He describes it better in the book, but uh, you get the idea. I love the first half of this book because it goes over exactly what a cell is and how the mitochondria make it possible for the cell to do everything that it does. He uh, used the analogy of mitochondria being like a dam that produced power through the movement of one side to the next. A lot of this is very very dense scientifically and I would have to listen to it a few a few times before I could actually re-explain it. I got a sense of it just to understand that this is a very complicated process and very awe-inspiring and it just seems impossible that my body can be functioning. How can all of this work together to produce a person? Like I, my, my mind is still blown by that, by the, the complexity at a, at a cellular level. Because not only are the cells extremely complicated, but then the cells work together to produce what we call an organism. And that's just far beyond my comprehension. Uh, that's just, it's crazy to me when you really dig into it like uh, the first half of this book does. I have a lot more appreciation now for what goes on inside the body. Like when I eat a sandwich, it makes it possible for me to move my arm, run a marathon or whatever. Uh, I want to do. And it comes down to mitochondria that allow our bodies to do that. That's the first half of the book. The second half of the book is more like a health book. They're recommending supplements for mitochondrial health. They talk about exercise in mitochondria. They talk about aging in mitochondria, Alzheimer's in mitochondria. I thought it was interesting, but I think I've heard enough about the power of miracle drugs and dieting practices that unleash the power of the mitochondria within. Still, after I read this book, I did kind of feel like I am invincible. Like, I have mitochondria in me. I have trillions of sh cells inside my body, and each of those cells have uh, hundreds or thousands of of mitochondria and the mitochondria are doing their magical thing of producing energy. And from reading this book, it seems like my, the mitochondria can do anything. Yeah, it seems pretty sensible now that I'm going to live to be 200 naturally. I say that also because he hints at the upcoming medical advancements. So we'll see if he ends up being right. I'll leave that for uh, uh, future generations to decide. Very interesting. I would give it a solid three and a half stars. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below.